Hi everyone, welcome to Healthy Lifestyle Apps. My name is River and I'm the graduate assistant at the ADP Center for Learning Technologies. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about health and wellness apps. Um, why use them? How do they benefit me? Um, we're gonna get into five different apps listed here. Um, and we'll get into a little bit about um, the basics. I'll show you guys a quick demo and do a quick review as well. So let's get started. Okay, so why health and wellness apps? Well, health and wellness apps, depending on whatever app you end up downloading or using, um, will all target different things. So some of those things could include having better sleep, managing some kind of pain, lowering stress, anxiety, and depression levels, um, helping you stay on top of some goals, but overall, most importantly, just promoting an, a healthier lifestyle in general. So the first app we're gonna get into is called Headspace. It's iOS, Android, and web compatible. So you can go on through your phone or you could log on through the computer as well. Um, so Headspace says that there are over 2000 meditation apps out there, but Headspace is one of the only ones committed to advancing the field of mindfulness meditation through clinically val validated research. So all of their um, meditations, um, soundscapes, all of these things are backed through research. So some of the features of Headspace include wake up videos, there are meditations, soundscapes, stories to help you fall asleep or just relax. There is music and I believe that they did add a couple of workouts, um, but they are very limited. Pricing for Headspace is actually um, free. There's a free version of it. Um, there is also a two week trial if you wanted to try out the whole thing and have access to the things that are locked. Um, however, there is an annual plan for $70, a monthly plan for $13, a family plan that includes six accounts for $100 a year. But I think that um, the best plan is probably the student plan. It's only $10 a month. Oh, sorry. $10 a year, which is even better. Um, so if you have any kind of student email um, or school email, you, I believe you are able to um, purchase the student plan. So this is actually what the interfa uh, interface of Headspace looks like. Um, there are, like I said, different things that you can do. So there is um, meditation, there is exercises, um, you can listen to some stories. You can kind of customize it to your liking. Um, and there's all different kinds of themes and genres. So if you wanna um, start your day and feel more energized, or if you wanna kind of take a break in the middle of the day and just relax, you can find specific things that will help you achieve that. So I gave Headspace a four out of five, just because the free selections are very limited. Um, there are only a certain amount of meditations and sounds that are unlocked, and then it kind of wants you to upgrade and purchase it. Um, so that's why I gave it a four. However, if you do find one to two good meditations or soundscapes or stories that you like, you may not need to purchase it. So it totally depends on how much you're willing to use the application. All right, next is um, Aurora. It used to be called Sleep Booster. So if I use either or names, um, I, I will be using them interchangeably. Um, Aurora is iOS and Android compatible. So Sleep Booster is based on, um, they try to help people get better sleep um, and establish some kind of routine and better habits through a drug-free option. Um, so they mentioned that, you know, you can take the sleeping pills, um, but it's not going to get to the root cause of um, poor sleeping problems and poor sleeping habits. Um, so they kind of help you get into that routine and establish some kind of ritual in order to help get a better quality of sleep. So like I said, um, they allow you to cre create a ritual. Um, so within your ritual, you can either, you can add breathing, um, you can add a story or a meditation. You can fall asleep to the calming sound 
Um, they also have snoring and voice tracking as well as a smart alarm. Um, they keep track of your highlights and trends. Like, oh, she woke up at 3.30 in the morning and was up until four um, and then fell back to sleep. And then they also have a quick little dream interpretation section, which is pretty cool. Um, Aurora is actually free. Um, however, if you did want to upgrade, you can purchase it for $40, $40 and that is for life. Um, so it is pretty, um, it's pretty affordable and has a great selection of everything. Um, this is what the interface looks like. So like I said, you can create a ritual. Um, you can, so over here, these little dots, you can, when you click on them, that means that they are a part of a ritual. And when you click on them again, and it's um, like over here with the smart alarm, the circle is empty. So that means that um, that smart alarm is not a part of the sleep ritual. So you can kind of turn it on and off and you can also customize it. Like if you wanna do your deep breathing for a minute, um, you wanna do it for only 30 seconds, you can also um, pick and choose and figure out what you wanna add and what you want to subtract from your sleep ritual. Um, and like I said, there is highlights, some trends, a smart alarm, um, and so much more. Review wise, I give this five out of five. Um, honestly, you don't even need to upgrade to a subscription. They have plenty of choices um, with so much of a selection. Um, if you wanted to upgrade, like I said, you would just spend $40 um, and that would give you access lifetime. But this is actually one of my favorite apps and it really does help me fall asleep and get a better quality of sleep because it enforces having proper sleep hygiene. So I find it very helpful and I recommend it for sure. So that's that. Next is Elevate. Um, Elevate is also iOS and Android compatible. Basically, um, it is a brain training program. It helps to improve focus, speaking, processing, memory, math, and so much more. Um, every person that uses it is provided with a personalized training program and it adjusts over time. So it will kind of um, increase and challenge specific um, abilities in order for you to further improving whatever um, you are working on at that time. So each day they give you five brain training games. Um, you can also study these. So if you wanna practice it, um, but what they give you is this, it's called an EPQ or an Elevate Proficiency Quotient. Um, so they test you, they do like an initial intake test where they um, grade you based off of your reading, writing, speaking, and math skills. Um, and then they kind of customize a training plan according to your EPQ and kind of increase the difficulty over time and depending on your progress. Um, they do send out daily reminders like, hey, you know, um, are you ready for a lesson? They do track your performance and then they also give you like a little gold star for achievements and stuff like that. So this app is also free. Um, however, if you wanted to upgrade, there is something called Elevate Pro and it just unlocks and upgrades um, different parts of Elevate and it gives you more brain training games. So there is a seven day free trial for it. If you wanted to try it out for just one month, it's about $3. Um, or if you wanted to, if you think, okay, I'm gonna use this a lot, you can always upgrade and it is $40 a year. So this is what um, kind of what the interface looks like. Like I said, they give you um, an EPQ kind of like IQ and they'll tell you where you compare um, or where you stand in comparison to other people. Um, and then they'll give you specific activities based on the level that you are currently at. Um, and they will keep track of your statistics as well. So I gave this a five out of five. I do really like this app. Um, I'll go on it for about, maybe it takes me like 10 to 15 minutes a day. And it's kind of a nice way to just start my day, um, kind of like focus on, it just makes me feel a little bit more sharp, um, especially if you have any kind of like memory issues within your, your family. Um, that also like, it can help with a little bit of brain fog as well. Um, 
like I said, there are five games per day, but if you feel like, oh, I'm gonna use this all the time and I really wanna upgrade, you could always upgrade. But if you're not really gonna use it too much, I would say that the 10, 15 minutes a day are pretty sufficient. And you can always go back and practice um, the specific areas that you just worked on that day as well. Um, you can keep practicing it as much as you want throughout the day until the next game is unlocked, which is in 24 hours. All right, number four, My Fitness Pal. So this is also iOS and Android compatible, but it's also web compatible as well. Um, and My Fitness Pal's um, main goal is basically to help you take control of your goals. Um, you can track your calories, break down certain ingredients, and log your activities within the app. Essentially what it is, is it's a food diary. Um, it allows for calorie tracking, nutrient tracking if you upgrade, um, water tracking, some kind of food analysis, and also tracking any kind of exercise that you're doing. Um, it does provide with a couple of workout routines. There's a social aspect, and there's a lot more within the app um, that is worth exploring um, that you know I don't have time to like list everything, but it's definitely worth checking out. Um, My Fitness Pal is completely free, but like I said, if you wanted to upgrade to unlock specific features, there is a premium membership that's either $10 a month or $50 a year. So this is what it looks like. Um, basically, when you first um, download My Fitness Pal, it will ask you to um, add your information. So it'll ask you demographic information like your, your sex and how many calories you um, you want to eat, well, actually it will calculate it for you, but it'll ask you how much you weigh and if you want to gain or lose weight. And then it will do some kind of math in order to tell you this is how many calories you should be intaking per day in order to achieve your weight. So if you take a look over here, this person's goal is to take in 1700 calories per day. Um, so far they had 1396 in calories that day, but then they also exercise. So that kind of gave them uh, they burned 273 calories, so it kind of gave them um, like a little bit more room to eat more and stay within their caloric goal. Um, so they have about 600 calories left for that day. So what's really cool is that um, if, say, for example, you are having strawberries or a banana, it kind of already has um, that listed as an option when you... Um, input that information into your diary. So you don't have to put in, oh, that it's 49 calories. Um, if you say, oh, I had one cup of strawberries raw, um, it kind of already does that math for you. And what's really cool is say you're having a yogurt or um, a bag of chips or whatever it is. If it has a barcode, you can actually take a picture of that barcode. It will scan it and import all the nutrition facts. So you don't have to do anything but take that picture. Um, and then also, like I said, if you upgrade, you can break it down into different um, nutrients like carbs, fats, and protein. This is kind of for people who are really into tracking their macros and exercising and stuff. Um, but then you can also see your progress. You can see your weekly or your daily um, goals. And um, yeah, I do believe that you can also socialize and add people on there. So if you are really into fitness and nutrition, um, this could definitely be something worth looking into for you. I gave this a four out of five just because the home cooked meals are difficult to track. So for example, say you make soup um, and you made tomato soup and you have to input every single ingredient or ingredient that has calories in, in order for it to um, really be able to track it accurately. However, what's really cool is like, say you always make soup on Monday nights, you could um, make that a preset. And every time you have that soup, um, you just have to input all the information once and then click on it and it will always um, just input that information for you. So you just really have to break it down and add all the ingredients just once. So um, like I said, if just being used for calorie tracking, I think the free version is sufficient. Um, if you want to upgrade, you definitely can, but I personally just would use it for that. Um, and I really enjoyed it and it did help me achieve some of my goals um, when I used it pretty regularly. 
Okay, so lastly, um, there is an app called Habit Share. And um, this is also Android, iOS, and web compatible. And basically, it's just a habit tracker. Um, you can socialize with friends and family um, for motivation and accountability. So, you know, sometimes when we have to, um, we want to achieve our goals, but, you know, it's so easy to lie to ourselves and just be like, eh, whatever, I'll do it tomorrow. Or, oh, yeah, I already did it, but you actually didn't. So um, what this does is it kind of lets you set these reminders, um, set these goals and habits that you want to achieve daily. And um, it, it lets you be flexible with it, which is pretty cool, too. Um, but you can also socialize with other people, and um, that can kind of keep you accountable and to stay on track. And this app is 100% free. This is what it looks like. Um, so this is the main page in the middle over here. Um, so as you can see, this person has a couple of different habits they want to keep track of. So no desserts. They want to exercise, pray, read Spanish, drink water, and floss their teeth. Um, so when they do achieve that or do um, do do that habit that day, um, they click on that day and press green and that means that they did it. So Friday they had 100%. Um, say, let's say on Monday, this person had dessert, they marked it red because they didn't achieve that goal. Um, and then, so for example, today, this person, they um, have yet to fill out whether or not they exercised. Um, there is also like a neutral option. So if it's not applicable for that day, you can also do that. But if you like click into the individual um, habit, so for example, with this person, they wanted to read Spanish 20 minutes each day, um, they can see what days they achieved that goal and which, which days that they weren't able to. So, so far in April 2019, the only day that they didn't was on the 14th. Um, and like I said, there is a way to socialize with other people and you can kind of see it does, it gives them like a little percentage um, and you can kind of compete with each other based off of that. So I gave us a three out of 10. It is a little bit basic. Um, you know, you don't want it to be too um, intermediate or intricate, um, but I think if it's just like for me, I personally would probably use it just for myself. I don't know if I would use it um, with other people because I don't really want to see other people have other people see um, if I'm achieving my goals or not that day but that's definitely personal like everyone has um, can feel differently about that but it is a great concept so say for example if you want to kind of have a competition after New Year's you know everyone's trying to be healthy and focus on achieving their resolutions um, you can kind of compete with each other using this app and I really like that it's completely free and they're not trying to just like make money off of you um, so yeah, I gave it a three out of five. So thank you so much for joining. I hope these apps were able to kind of help you, um, give you some ideas in order to, um, you know, incorporate more health and wellness into your life. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to visit us, um, on our website, on Instagram, and you can always email us as well. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.